I, 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 I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold Frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love hey, And it'll make one light and I'll just bring that up a little bit here And scoot it to the side And then I'm gonna go into clone And oops I'll make sure I'm on the light. Go into clone and clone a light and make a second one. And I'm just gonna drag it over here. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess I can have this lined up a little bit better here. So let me go into match my perspective here. And then let's go into VPR for a second. Don't see anything yet. So we're gonna go into render, render properties and turn on the volumetrics. And then we're just gonna drink, bring that down quite a bit. Now these lights apparently are big, so let me turn off the backdrop. And there we have our lights, right? So let me just go into the first light, M, and we'll just parent that to the controller. And then I'll go into the second light, hit M, and we'll parent that to the controller. So then I should have one object controlling these two lights. So we have these two lights, so under properties, if I go on to lights, I probably should have created the properties on one first, but we'll just give it a red color like that. And then we'll go into the other light and do the same thing. Just give it a red color like that. Okay. And then we have our two lights. So now what I want to do is just create kind of a flyby effect which is pretty simple to do. So let me just reposition myself. I believe I'm uh, matched to the camera perspective. So let me just, so this is just playing around with my perspective here a little bit. And then I'll match my camera to this. Okay, so now if I go on the controller, I think the easiest thing to do, at least for me, is if I go into the top view and then I pull out, I can see things a lot better. What I'll do is, you don't have to click on the controller, you can just click anywhere on the screen and click and drag, and I'll just take it back like that. And then I'll move the playhead all the way down to 120, and then I'll just click and drag the control, oops. I, did, I was absent, accidentally grabbed the light. Oops, I messed up. Okay, so let me delete that keyframe. Now let me go back to the controller. Now I can click and drag and just bring the two lights right by the camera like that. Okay, so now I can switch back into perspective view. And let's see here. I'm pretty sure if oh, I see. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and match my camera again. All right, and then let's hit play and see what we see. I see the camera moving there a little bit. It might not be bad. So let's switch into camera view and really see what we see. And then we'll just switch into VPR. Hey, that's pretty cool look. <laughs> so let's see what we see. And it's that easy. And then any other adjustments you wanna make, I mean, you can pull that back farther in the distance. Um, yeah, whatever, there's a whole range of possibilities of things you can do. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, take care, and I will talk to you next time.